anyway. You have to get ready for work and get yeah, going. Yeah, you got to get ready for work. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, you know, well, you had it scheduled. I mean, you know, you had it scheduled. That's good. See, I, I had it set for notifications, and it notified. Just like me. how midnight wakes you up, or Sharpie or Sparky. You know, you know what? Yeah, my phone's going. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe you should get that sound effect on your phone that way. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna look through a a video with uh, the barking, and I'm gonna take it out and put it on the phone. You know, any, that's a good idea. Any, any video that has a Chihuahua barking should work. Just find a just find a video where a Chihuahua is barking. That's I could I probably have it on the phone already. Dog barking is probably a yeah. Who uh, knows? Well, it needs to be a Chihuahua though because they're, they 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 have a unique sound. You know, that's true. That's Chihuahua true. They do have a unique it. sound. Burr, 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 burr. <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking hilarious. Who's speaking of how the dogs? How's the? How, what are they yeah, sleeping in the back? back here, they're back here. Snoop well finally back. behaving themselves, huh? I know, isn't it amazing? They're actually behaving that is amazing. Themselves. Actually, two young boys behaving themselves. Who who knew, right? Usually, when you don't hear noise, that means they're plotting and scheming. <laughs> yeah, they're making a mess or something. Yeah, but no, they're, they're back here. You can see them. One of them, one of them's got their heads stuck up doing something. No, nice. That's so cute. We're okay. Hi, right. okay. huh, guys. No, 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 no. That wasn't your cue to get up. Stay there. <laughs> Stay here. That wasn't your cue to get up. Uh, but anyway, but yeah, man, I wanted to, um, I wanted to continue my, my, my talk because. Okay. I to, yeah, sure. Let's I never do got it. to finish it because, um, you know, G-Man's like, well, where's your gods? My gods have been here the whole time. But see, the thing of it is, the gods are not are not narcissistic pieces of shit like all these fake religions are. Okay, and so they're perfectly happy to just grab a bag of popcorn and sit back and watch you all fail over and over and over again. Because it doesn't do them, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't break any sweat off their balls at all. Okay, we're the ones that's failing, not them. And, um, you know, that's a, that's a hard pill to swallow, but it's, but it's the truth. And, you know... Uh, you know, when you when you find out that, you know, I mean, I was a Christian for 20 years, man, you know, and I found out it was fake. That's a hard pill to swallow, too. But you know what? I did it. I went on ahead and dealt with it because that's all you can do is deal with it. You either deal with it or you go fucking nuts, you know, one or the other. Now, you say, well, why would the New World Order destroy Christianity? Why the fuck not? Can you imagine the carnage that's going to occur on this planet when everybody finds out Christianity is fake? The world could literally go into pandemonium. Well, who do you think benefits from that, the New World Order? <laughs> they benefit from that shit. The only problem is, is that everything they put out about Christianity being fake is going to be totally legit. That's the problem. The problem is it's all legit. Like Napoleon said when he come out of them damn Vatican vaults, everything you believe is a lie. Christianity, Islam, Judaism. Hi, Sam. Sorry, Sam. You know, all of it is a lie. Even the pagan religions. Okay, so I'm not singling anybody out. All of it has been a lie from going all the way back. It's all been a lie. This is why I reached out to the universe and said, hey, if there really is true gods out there that do give a damn, Hook up with me. Let me know that you exist. Well, you know what? I got lucky, and they did. They hooked up with me. All right? But they are nothing. They are absolutely nothing like what you believe or have been taught or have grown up. Whoop. Come back here, bird. Whoop. I broke his wing. I'm going to have to fix his wing. He's got a broken wing. Who did that song, Broken Wing? That was, uh, that was one of the, uh, was that Bob Marley? That was Bob Marley, Broken Wing. I think it was Bob Marley. I'll glue his wing back here in a minute. Anyways, uh, but yeah, so uh, as you can see, the double piece is now gone. Maybe that's symbolic. Did you ever think that might be symbolic, guys? Look at that. The, the double piece is now You symbolic. know what? That's a good That's a good analogy about what's going to, that the future proceedings of what's going to happen here. That someone's going to you know, get the axe here. Yeah, the gods are... The, gods the, the, are peace, the peace the talks are over, let's say. The negotiation... It's even during the speech, I was listening to that Putin speech that you uh, sent me that link. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he and in the speech of Putin's like, well, we try to negotiate for peace with the United States and the West and NATO for, for years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And and all they were were hostile towards mm -hmm. Russian people. They just mm -hmm. they hate Russians mm -hmm. in their in their 
in their very soul and they can't they, they, they can't rationally think reasonably even this is what putin goes he says they hate russians so much that they can't rationally think so they can't make peace it has to be all out war and, and this is and, what they led us to and what have i said from day one i said i like patriots of all backgrounds, yeah. all backgrounds right that, that's exactly what i meant and that's exactly what i said oh there's coffee Oh, nice, good. But yeah, I yeah, the double piece just just broke, guys. Maybe there's some maybe there's some symbology there, huh? You reckon? <laughs> maybe there's some symbology there. I got to glue it back together. But uh, the the I don't know. Is that porcelain or is that plastic? I can't really. That might be porcelain. I may not be able to glue it back. Yeah, that's porcelain. That ain't plastic. That's porcelain. I'm gonna have well, to. get um, uh, Gorilla Glue. It'll have to be Gorilla Glued, yeah. Well, I don't have any Gorilla Glue right now. Though. You can get a tube for like two bucks. Yeah, just come. The dollar store. Yeah, I get some. But, uh, yeah, the, you know, you know, but G-Man's like, well, where's your gods at? Well, my gods have always been here, dude. And as you just seen, the double piece is now broken, okay? So I think it's just it's just the idea that, yeah, they're done. They're done fucking around. Okay, um, it's time to uh, it's time to stop uh, placating to evil. And if you're a Christian and the New World Order starts, you know, because I'm telling you right now, you better get ready for it, Christian. I don't give a fuck what you think about me. I I could care less. Uh, the fact of it is, is that Christianity is fake as a three dollar bill. All monotheism is fake, but Christianity in particular. And the new world order is done is done placating. They don't see you have to understand what's going on. The new world order is not going to get their World War Three. And so they're butthurt about that. So what are they going to do? They're going to try to they're going to try to cause pandemonium in the world another way. Well, what way? Oh, by exposing Christianity as a complete and utter fraud. Yeah, that, you think that would be uh, chaos doing that? Oh, huh? People will be, get yeah, to crazy. Yeah, a lot of people's going. You know, imagine imagine some preacher that's that's been preaching Christianity for over thirty or forty years, only to find out that it's as, that it's as fake as a three dollar bill. You know, I mean, that's going to be devastating. That's going to be devastating. It's going to be devastating to the world <clears throat> when the New World Order exposes Christianity as complete and utter fraud. So it so they benefit from doing this. Now the problem, like I said, though, is that everything they put out is going to be one hundred percent true. Christianity was started by ancient Rome. They took a combination of characters, Mithros and Krishna, combined them and created Jesus. Jesus is a construct. He is not real. He has never been real. Okay, he's a construct between Mithros and Krishna. They molded the two together. They literally yanked scripture right out of the Hindu Bible, plopped it in the Christian Bible, and called it done. They didn't even bother changing the words. The only thing they changed on it was the names, the dates, and the places. Other than that, it's the same shit. It's literally the same shit. I can go grab a Hindu Bible right now, and it'll sound just like the Christian Bible. Gee, I wonder why. Oh, because they lifted the shit right out of the damn Hindu Bible. That's why. That's why it sounds identical. You got to understand everything up to this point has been stuff that has been handed down for generation to generation to generation, most of the time orally. Because remember, poor folk weren't allowed to read and write. It was prohibited. And then it was a matter of you weren't rich enough. And then finally, we got we got the ability to read and write. But the, the ability of poor folk to read and write is a fairly new thing as far as humanity is concerned. Because used to, poor folk weren't allowed to read and write, or they couldn't read and write, or both. Okay? Or they couldn't afford it, all three. And uh, so it's just a very, it's a fairly recent thing that poor folk are, are able to read and write. And even then, what, what they had was tainted anyway, so it's all messed up. Like I said, you know, Christianity, uh, you know, there are several Bibles, just like there are several Korans. Just like there's several uh, uh, Talmuds, okay? They're different books, and they all say different things too. Why? Because they're all con they're all constructs, okay? They're not real. They're not real, folks. I hate to say that, but it's the truth. And like I said, Christianity is going to be the first one to drop because that's the one that's going to have the biggest impact on the world. Because they love and the New World Order loves to spread chaos and, and pandemonium. Remember, remember their slogan, order out of chaos. They create the chaos and then they expose the chaos 
And then they come up with this. Oh, hey, guys, we got the solution. Well, what is the New World Order solution? A one world, a one world religion. That's their solution. That is the New World Order solution. They're going to destroy Christianity, Islam, and Judaism. Yes, they are. They're going to expose them as complete and utter frauds. Why? Because they want to promote their one world religion, which, by the way, is not freedom religion. I assure you. I assure you. In fact, it is very possible that the gods reached out to me and got me started on this shit for the very reason as a counter to their one world religion. Because there are one more religions coming out, whether you like it or not. And they're going to destroy Christianity, Islam, and, and Judaism to do it. And like I said, the, the, it's going to be irrefutable because the information is true. It's all real. Catholicism started this shit. They started it all, most likely. Now, you know, a lot of people will say maybe they didn't start Judaism because Judaism does have a quite a long history. I don't know. But what I do know is that the New World Order is going to destroy these religions because they need to promote their one world religion. And they can't do that if Christianity, Judaism, and Islam is in the way, right? Common sense here, folks, okay? Uh, you know, use a little common sense here. They cannot have a one world religion until they destroy the three monotheistic religions. They can't do shit about paganism because paganism has been around for generations and there's not much they can do about that. But since paganism is kind of in the shadows anyway, that doesn't pose too much of a threat to them, I don't suspect. Although, they'll probably want to destroy those two. But it doesn't matter because they're all fake anyway. Like I said, everything you believe is a lie. Napoleon said so. We have our boy from the, from the CIA that says so. They all said it. Everything you believe is a lie. Religion, science, atheist, you know, hey, atheist, yeah, your shit's a lie too. It's all fucking lies, all of it. Hell, atheism was, was kept alive by fucking Rothschild, for God's sake. You want that as your fucking motif? <laughs> hey, I believe in something that, that the rich elitists are, are, are publicly promoting and, and financing. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to win any favors. You know, oh, I bow the knee to Rothschild. Well, good for you, motherfucker. You know, now tell me what you really want, you know. Uh, but yeah, stupid, stupidity. Let's stop being stupid. Let's stop being stupid this morning, okay? Uh, but yeah, that's the plan, folks, okay? That is the plan. Okay, what's the plan? What's the plan? What's the plan? The plan is to destroy everything in favor of their one world government, their one world religion, their one world everything, where they are in control and you ain't. And that's the truth. And that's the way that's the way it's going to go down. I'm sorry. That's the way it's going to go down. And like I said, obviously exposing Christianity and destroying Christianity all throughout the world is going to be devastating to a you know, just billions and billions of people. You know, you've got a you have a mega church in uh, in in either uh, uh, South Korea or, or one of the Asian countries. It's a mega church. It's like two million people strong. Okay, and this church, bless their hearts. What do they do? They they have a twenty four hour prayer vigil where they all they do is they, they pray 24 hours a day, seven days a week. That's a good thing. There's nothing wrong with that. The problem, though, is that they've been believing a lie all this time because Christianity is not real. Judaism is not real. Islam is not real. All of these pagan religions are not real. And Napoleon said so. Many others have said so. And the New World Order is going to begin proving with evidence, with hardcore evidence that you cannot refute that all these religions are fake. And I'm I'm saying this now so that everyone can get prepared. I'm not even necessarily saying it so that you all will join freedom religion. I'm saying it because it's the truth and it's coming. Because they cannot promote their one world religion until the three monotheistic religions and some of these pagan religions are out of the way, such as Hinduism. I mean, Hinduism is what, five billion people strong? Okay, obviously that poses a legitimate threat to the New World Order's one world religion, does it not? Okay, so Hinduism is going to go bye-bye too. Okay, so don't think this is some kind of slam on, you know, Christianity or Judaism or Islam because it's not because they got to get rid of Hinduism too. That's 5 billion people strong. It poses a legitimate threat. They're going to get rid of it. They're going to expose it as fake. Now, how are they going to go about this? Not really sure. They don't really care. You know, it's not my fight. I'm, I haven't been a Christian for years. I was a Christian for 20 years and I and I dumped it like a bad uh, like a bad habit. All right. Once I found out the truth. 
But that, you know, I want people to understand that this shit's coming. It's not, it's not my fucking opinion. This shit is coming because they can't push their one world religion until they sweep away every other religion that's in the way. That's just the truth. Now, good old freedom religion here, pledging the religion of mine. We're just now getting started. We're just now coming up uh, out of nowhere. And I don't know, you know, I can't say they perceive me as a threat. They probably don't. I mean, they've had their lackeys on YouTube destroy literally every facet of my fucking life. So they don't probably perceive me as a threat. But the gods have other plans. <laughs> and they do. And they do. And I assure you, freedom religion will, def will destroy, ultimately, their fake one world religion. I guarantee it. I guarantee it will. Because remember, whatever they construct is not real either. They just got to sweep away all this other bullshit in order to put, in order to peddle their new bullshit, you know. But it is coming. Get ready for it because it is coming. And I'm not, like I said, let me make it abundantly clear so that even the fucking famous moron can get this. I am not slamming anybody's beliefs. I am not attacking anyone. I'm not trying to browbeat anyone or get anyone to follow freedom religion. I'm doing this because the shit's coming. And you're either going to be ready for it or you ain't. And I can tell you right now, destroying Christianity in the whole world will be devastating. People's going to be freaking out. There might even be people commit suicide over this shit. I don't know. But I know it's coming. It has to. Because they, they've been promoting their one world religion behind the scenes. And they're getting ready to unearth that shit. They're getting ready to reveal. Okay. And and I absolutely believe that freedom religion is a counter to their one religion. All right, I'm back. I'm sorry, I was getting dressed. What's up? Uh, you're nothing much. I was just telling them. Oh, you we know, got a couple of um people that need to go dropped off at the pool or something. No, really. Let's see, guys. How do I join freedom religion? Solar wants to join the freedom religion. Solar wants to join the freedom religion. I don't even see Solar's Ooh. messages. Right. Yeah, I got it on the screen. Uh, well, I don't see it on over here though. Hmm, that's weird. Oh, now I see him. Now I see him. I see him. I see him now. Okay. I didn't Look see at this him. guy. Look at this guy. The 10 grand is gone. You're done. What 10 grand? Is that Vaughn, you got only 10 grand left. Oh, boy. No. No. <laughs> no. Do we need the Bible? I was going to be Jewish, but Vaughn was like a couple of multiple God theories. I, yeah, I said, Sola, maybe you got to choose something. You got to think about it. You can't even destroy a bunch of stoners. I think we did. I think we I put think the we stoners. Pretty much did. I think we pretty much did. But here's not the in the thing, churches. Um, we don't need church for freedom religion, right? That's a big no, plus. Freedom religion doesn't require a church. Where are you getting that from? Where are you well, that makes that sense from? of what you're saying. I mean, if it's not, if it's if if you don't need a, a church like Christians do, right? No, of course no. not, right? Why do you, why do you need a why do you need a building to worship uh, the gods of creation? Why do you need that? What what right. would you need that for? You know, what does this say? Not sure if it's true or not, but I'm told Larry Frost left and took the furnace with him in the entire kitchen. He claims he bought them. Well, if he's stealing furniture and appliances from the trailer, then he's stuff a criminal. Out of, the, out of the building, he's going to be in big trouble because the yeah. sheriff ain't going to like that too much. Uh, Lucifer says you're a real moron. Well, then let me, you know, let me tell you what. You know what? I'll drop you off for the pool. I'll take you out back and shoot you in the head, and then we'll metaphorically speak it, and then uh, we'll. Uh, I heard that yeah. Larry rolled over the weekend with all the appliances, including the furnace. Well, I well, hope that's I hope that's true because then he's going to prison yeah, for sure. Then he's going straight to prison if he did that. Yeah, so let let, let him do that. And then he goes straight to he goes straight to prison. I hope someone he said the J words, or the J word is an automatic ban. Yep. Yep. Yeah, is you should try Islam solar. Yeah, well, Islam's going to be proven a fake too. They're just going to start with Christianity, but they're going to do all three mon all three monotheism uh, religions, according to what I understand, were created by ancient Rome. All three of them. They were all three created by ancient Rome. Now you say, why would they create a religion to counter their own Islam? In other words. Because that causes conflict, and they're I'm all working, baby. I I have to go into work like basically every day, so it's all like it's all strife, yeah. strife and strife and uh, and and confusion and pandemonium, and they're all big on that shit. They love that shit. They eat that shit up. With yeah. Them. So John, um, so fun. So let's. Um... 
Well, let's get a good topic going. Is there anything good to talk about? Anything uh, wonderful? Uh, anything uh, interesting? Nice? Um, positive? Anything positive? I don't know. Well, Schneider Handyman is. Uh, Where can I find Freedom Religion's version of the Bible? You're talking to him. You're talking to him. Freedom Religion is what? What part of it's brand new? Are you not? Are you a little confused about? Apparently, you're confused. Freedom religion's brand new. I am the only thing out there. I'm it. So if you don't listen to what I say, well, <laughs> then I guess you're screwed, right? Yes, there's white dust all over the continental U.S. from the spill in the Ohio uh, train wreck. Everybody knows that by now. How can you learn the words of the unnamed gods? Well, listen to what I say. Since there is, since they're speak, obviously and they speak to you, right? Like Vaughn, you say they speak to you right from your, right. Um, right. not like voices in the head, but like uh, it's a knowing. You know, it's, it's a knowing. knowing. It's a know that you know that you know. It's not voices in the head, folks. If you're hearing voices in your head, go see a shrink immediately because you're a crazy some bitch and you need therapy. All right, it's not. It it has nothing to do with voices in the head at all. But yeah, you you motherfucking trolls, you don't listen to a word I say anyway. So guess what? You can't you can't be part of freedom religion because you don't believe a word I say. All right, when the gods tell me something and then you get on and make a fucking YouTube hate video laughing about it, you know what the gods' response is? Hey, march your fucking ass off to outer darkness, bitch. We don't care. Okay, the gods, uh, the real gods, don't give a damn about your opinion. Sorry, they don't. Okay. You're the created being, they're the creator. They don't give a fuck about your opinion. You don't you want to diss the person that they chose to tell you what's really going on? Then fuck off and die, bro. Sorry. Well, when are you gonna do a bubble bath bid? When when I get my when I when I get my inheritance back. When I get my Oh, that's gonna be the big celebration video, huh? That's gonna be the big celebrate. When I get my when I get my inheritance. I can't wait for that win. When I get my inheritance back. Then there will be a bubble bath video. There will be a celebration. There will be all kinds of cool shit. But that ain't happened yet. Okay. So I already got two. I got already got two bubble baths going. Yeah, I know. Huh. Am I still practicing wizardry? Well, of course I am. All right, you were you were wrong a few times. You, the trolls have been wrong four times already, and they're going on <laughs> you for aren't a getting fifth any time. money. Are you fucking high? Are you fucking high? The judge has already said they have to pay restitution. They have to either give it back or pay restitution. The fucking judge has already said that shit in open court, you dumb fuck. What? See, see, that's the thing. Nobody listens to what I really say. You hear what you want to hear. You don't hear what I'm actually saying. It's just like that doofus the other, the other day. It's saying, saying that I said there were no lions in Africa. That's not what I fucking said. He didn't hear what I actually said. He heard what he wanted me to say. Okay, there's a difference between the two. But that's not what I said. I did not say there were no lions in Africa. What I said was there were no lions in the immediate area of Egypt. The, the, the big cats in the immediate area of Egypt, ancient Egypt were, were leopards, tigers, and maybe some crosses between the two. But there were no lions. Lions... You, you see, where do you see lions? You see lions in the Byzantine Empire. You see lions in ancient Sumer. You see lions in Mesopotamia. That's where you see the fucking uh, uh, carvings of lions. Not in Egypt. Egypt didn't have carvings of lions. Egypt had cheetahs. Egypt had leopards. Egypt had tigers. Don, it's like talking to a brick wall with these people. They don't I get know it. It's like talking to a brick wall, but I'm going to tell the truth anyway because I am a truther. All right, I put I the do. link out there if Solo wants to come in. We'll let him come in. But here's the thing, okay? You don't hear what I actually say. You hear what you want me to say. Like this, like I said, this stupid idiot last night, Wesley or whatever the fuck his name was. You said there was no lions in Africa. That's not what I fucking said. I said there was no lions in ancient Egypt. There's no carvings of an ancient lion in Egypt. No, there's not. Not one. They had leopards, they had tigers, and they had jaguars. It was it was the Byzantine Empire. It was Mesopotamia. It was Sumer. Those are the ones that have the carvings of the lions. 
Get your fucking historical facts straight, dumbasses. Now I realize everyone's not a historian like me. I get that. But goddamn, you got fucking Google. Hey, what 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 culture had had carvings of lions back in the day? Oh, the Byzantine Empire, the fucking Mesopotamian, the the, the Phoenicians and and the, and the Zoroastrians and and the motherfucker. Egypt didn't have that. They had leopards mostly. Had a few tigers, but mostly leopards. I think it was. All right, this is not hard to figure out. I mean, you got the fucking internet. You can Google that shit. You know, instead of getting on the Internet saying that I lied when I didn't lie at all, I, you know, as a historian, you know, I'm going to tell you what what's up. You want to see carvings of lions from back in the day? Go check out the Byzantine Empire. You'll see all kinds of lion carvings. You won't see them in Egypt. Why? Because Egypt had leopards. It was the Byzantine Empire that had lions. Ugh. And it, and is and, and and apparently ancient Israel, the ancient Hebrews, they were big on lions apparently because they talk about lions in some of their scriptures. But it was not the Egyptians. God damn. Is my water still off? No, my water is not off. Why do you need millions to make a bubble bath? Oh my, oh my fucking God. Do you not fucking understand plain English? I mean, is there a disconnect somewhere? What, what? I made that perfectly clear. When I get my inheritance back, then I will do the bubble bath as a celebration. See, once again, you didn't hear a fucking word I said. You made shit up in your mind of what you thought I said, but you didn't actually hear what I fucking said. And that really gets irritating. And I think you're doing it deli I think some of you are doing it deliberate. Just to fucking just to fucking troll. All right, anyway, what's going on, Solar? Oh, not much. Uh, you know, unbelievably, um, I live uh, east due east remember we talked about this of ohio yeah of ohio and i found out the way that jet stream goes at that that frost thing that pushes it down it it takes a jet stream and pushes it south well guess what must have went right over there's white shit everywhere i mean it's 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 not everywhere but it's showing up it's showing up on the roads they said it would they said it would yep I'm, I'm, i am not getting on my motorcycle this year anybody want to buy a harley I wouldn't go out. Dude, you know what happened when they went outside, right? They let their dogs out to go pee, and the dog died right in front of them. The, the dogs are dropped dead. Yeah, dogs are dying. Hundreds of chickens. A lady lost almost her entire farm. Her entire, it's got me paranoid. Her farm, yeah. To be quite yeah, honest with you. They all, died. Kind of paranoid. they all died. That that white shit is poison. It's deadly poison. Oh, they absolutely. There, they, get, they come in contact with them, and boom, they drop dead. All it has to do is touch you, folks. All it has to do is touch you. Yep, oh, and there's been people good. having headaches and all kind of stuff. That's just kind of serious to me. And the other, the other thing I had to say was that everything was kind of going great until this David Anthony guy came back. Where the hell did he come from, Vaughn? I remember him. Where's that guy from? John, is he guy? Friend, he's a former friend of yours or something. What, guy? what, guy? what, what guy? guy? What guy? David Anthony caused all that trouble the other night. Where did he come from? I, I David knew Anthony is a, is a longtime YouTube troll. He's been around forever, dude. He's been around forever. Isn't yeah, but he was never on your show. How him and Todd look almost identical. That's kind of creepy. <laughs> he does look like Todd. Isn't I just don't creepy? remember him, that's all. That's I, I kind of do, but I, I don't remember him doing shows. David Anthony's not... been around for a long, long time. Yes, he has. Well, you let him have long it. Long time YouTube troll. That's all I had and, to say. And, 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 and like I said, G-Man has no excuse because I told him it was a troll. Even even if G-Man oh, claims he never arrested. knew. No even, if G -Man, even if G-Man claims he never knew he was a troll. I told G-Man several times he was a troll. It's too late. So he threw you off and let him stay on. That's what. That well, the, well, the thing of it is, he let him drone on about how I raped my kids and and killed my mother and whatever uh, whatever other bullshit that, that, that good old uh, uh, sec, uh, Schneider handyman throws in his fucking face, and all these other goddamn trolls talking about shit. Um, you know, if I did half the shit they said I did, I'd be in federal prison for life. Well, let me ask you this: Was David Anthony on? Uh... What's the guy's name, Brett King? Was he on his show? I just don't remember him being around. Uh, well, David Anthony claims to be a Christian, so That's maybe. Uh, he wouldn't go on any of the stuff we do. None of know. us are Christians. 
I don't know. I don't. I don't know. Dave, well, Brett here recently is is sucking up to uh, some atheist named uh, Adam Adam Lord or something. Oh, he must have money. Adam must have. He must donations. have. You know he does. He's sucking up to him here day. lately, so I don't know. Whatever the latest donation is, where he yeah, goes. whatever the latest donation is, apparently yeah, whatever. That's what um, Yeah, I was just checking in, see what was going on with this. By David. listening to what you said, really use me. your wizard magic uh, against weather in your sleep. So like astral project projection. Oh, yeah, it's kind of like astral projection. Uh, Edgar Casey, uh, he used to cure patients in his sleep. Uh, Edgar Casey would lay down on a couch. He would go to sleep. And in his sleep, he could diagnose everything that was wrong with your body, literally. God, that'd be great, wouldn't it? And he and 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 millions of people went to him for for their ailments and shit. Like and David sure. Anthony. And uh, they found they found out exactly, you know, because he could tell you exactly what was wrong with your body and how to fix it. And then they would go to the doctor and get it fixed. And um, you know, Edgar Casey did this. Nikolai Tesla did the same thing. Now I don't know if Nikolai Tesla actually laid down and went to sleep, uh, but Nikolai Tesla also said that he got his information from from the source, from you know, from the the Creator gods, from the original source. Okay, yeah. It's Monday morning, you know. There's really not much going on, you know. Uh, yeah, get rid see, of what was going on that weekend stuff. There. That was horrible. What I saw that just what weekend I stuff. G man were buds. I I didn't know that happened. Now it's, he drew a line in the sand and yeah. Now it's now it's G man's turn to cough. Well, it's like you said. You know, it ain't no big deal. You can have him tossed in jail. I mean, yeah, buddy, I can. You it's bet. To the point now where you that's got criminal. Him. That's criminal. That, accusing me of murder and rape is a criminal offense. Okay. Oh, not only that, you can sue him. He's in big, deep trouble now. Yeah, buddy. It's his show. And Let's and look. and the and the sad part about it is, I warned him in advance. Don't do this, D man. Don't let the Damn fucker right. on your show. You said okay, hey. so he has no excuse. He has no excuse. The dub of peace has been broken. Uh, Solar, you reckon that oh, has yeah. any meaning? The what? The double peace broke. Yeah. Uh, well, peace, peace, neg peace negotiations are over. No more peace. No more oh, in, in, in Israel. What are you talking about? What happened? What are you talking about? The double peace? Or, what are you talking about? The double peace broke. It literally broke when we were live on camera. The what did? The do the dove that he had hanging oh, on the, the dove. The dove. I'm thinking you said dove, the dove, 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 tomato, I'm tomato. Talking about Israel. I was gonna say, don't bring Sam on yet. Holy Christ. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh, that thing broke. What's that? What's that, Vaughn? Does that does that mean something? That that means something, doesn't it? Something terrible. I, th I mean, I think it symbolizes that peace negotiations are over. That's oh, time for Christ. war, in my opinion. But I'm worried. Jesus Christ, I'm sweating. Guys. All right, I have to drive a little bit to the bank, so you guys talk. Um, Vaughn, you're in control. Hey, uh, John. Yeah, what's yeah. What's up? Are you on the bank? Get me I a bottle. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I gotta are do. Ba I gotta pay bills. You don't work today, do you? I do work. I work literally every day. Oh, do you? Okay. All right, man. We'll, we'll, we'll bullshit a little bit. I can't hang in here all day. I'm, th I'm looking into freedom religion. Yeah. You're looking into freedom religion? Okay. Well, well it's either that or Judaism because, John, I'm, I'm, I don't want to be a dance. No offense, John, but Islam ain't happening with me. I'm sorry. Well, here's the thing. My so family would beat the shit out of me if I did that. Plus, I couldn't Brazilian wax my girlfriend anymore. Here's the thing, Solar. The New World Order is going to expose all the monotheistic religions as a lie. Mm -hmm. And they're going to go after Hinduism and maybe a few other pagan religions because they pose a legitimate threat. Okay. Yeah. The New World Order is going to start rolling out their one world religion, and they can't do it if all these other religions are in the way. So they're going to start exposing all these religions as flat-out lies. Now, the interesting thing about it is, is that the information they release will be 100% accurate. It'll be true. It'll all be true. You know, where Jehovah has a wife, her name is Asherah, yeah. that's all true. Where Jehovah and Moloch are the same guy, that's true. Where Hubal and, and Allah are the same guy, that's true. We have archaeological yeah. evidence that proves these things. And they're going to start rolling this shit out, and it's going to be devastating to the world because the world is under the fake impression that monotheism is real, and it is not. It's, a, it's fake. It's fake as a $3 bill. Of course, then many of the pagan religions are also fake, too. 
you know so i mean you know it's 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 all going to be happening because they can't roll out their one more religion with all these other religions in the way it has to be gotten out of the way and so how do you do that we expose them all as frauds yeah they're all going to be exposed as frauds that's just the way it's going to be and so you know and so I, I'm, I'm on here. What you know, whether whether anybody looks into freedom religion or not is immaterial. The fact is, is that the new world order is going to do what they're going to do anyway. Whether I really like the fact of multiple gods. That reminds well, me. Well, that well because it makes sense. That's yeah, why. it does. Why well, have one god for everything? Imagine that. Hey, some people might not want to. Maybe you have female and male gods in your deal, right? Huh? Right. What do you think about that? Well, that's some, what I'm well, a woman might not want a male god, huh? Think about that. She might want to go up there and talk to a uh, female. I mean, who knows? Right. Exactly. Right. That's what I'm looking at. I'm looking at a couple different things, but I just don't think I'm. I don't want to. No offense, John, his wife, but Islam, no, no way. That can't. We can't do that. You can't do that either, Vaughn. Look what would happen to you. Yeah. That people in them hills of Kentucky would fucking. They they they'd fuck you up down there. They don't want any Muslims down there. Do they? Think about it. Come on. They don't like Muslims down here. Can you use weed in ceremonies of freedom religion? Probably. It's a plant. I don't know. I mean, I can ask. <clears throat> but I don't I don't know. I like the word freedom. Freedom religion. You know, just freedom. It's free to whatever. John leaves us here. You know where he's going. He's he goes somewhere every more every Monday morning. He seemed to go somewhere. Who? Oh, no, he what? says he has to work today, John. Yeah, John's going to work, man. No, me, oh doing. yeah, there's somebody else type something about David Anthony. Yeah, David Anthony's caused a ton of freaking trouble, dude. I I kind of remember him before, but he looks different. He looked he was way thinner before, and I thought his name was Mark. I, I thought his name was Mark at one time. It's I don't know. I don't I don't know and I don't really care. I it's thought like I said, it's G Man show, and G Man is in control, yeah. and he'll and, and if he lets him on there and talk his bullshit one more time, that's that's criminal defamation, mm -hmm. and I will prosecute to the fullest extent of the law. Sorry. There you go. I mean, you you got fucking Google. Google what fucking criminal defamation is, you dumbass. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not that fucking hard. Now, if you didn't have the internet, which was damn near the fount of all information, it'd be different. But you got the fucking internet. Google what criminal defamation is. For fuck's sake, Google it. Holy shit. This has is he reached hard. out to you? Has he reached out to you since this has happened? Who? 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 Uh, G-Man's. No. And he won't. Because he knows I'm telling the truth. No, he, you know what's funny? He hangs around Dragnaut Silvius now and all them. Yes, I know. They were, he was free. I couldn't believe it. He he hung. He's when 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 uh, Shanny moved, they became buddies. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. What's yeah, that all about? That, that is craziness. It. Yeah. They hated each other. That's all right. It's okay. Yeah. Uh, no, John doesn't work weird shifts. It's called it's called swing shift. I I did it for years as an orderly. Some days you work days, some days you work second shift, some days you work third shift. It's called swing shift. When you first start a job, you start out on swing shift. You know, basically, you work whenever they need you. They give you and the work. Once you're, yeah. once you're there for a year or something and you get established, then they'll, then they'll give you a, a set time. But until then, you're on swing shift and you basically go in when they need you. And that's that a lot of jobs are that way. I don't know why you don't understand that. Start a new job, you're starting on third most of the time. I, I like, yeah, and, yeah, a lot of times you start on third shift. Yeah, exactly. I don't like getting up early in the mornings and they, they have a hard time with people with second because people have kids, they can't do second, right? Well, guess what? Yeah. I don't have any kids, so I just bang right in there, man. Second shift, oh, I'll take it. Sure, it gives me job security, man. Not many people can do second shift because of kids. See, now listen to this. Von Helton failed a pedo test. Okay, well, why am I not in prison, you dumb son of a bitch? Or why why don't I have an ankle bracelet? I was going to say, do you have a leg bracelet on? I don't yeah, see. why don't I have a leg bracelet? Come on, you fucking troll. Answer me. Larry yeah, would you know, Larry be all over that if you failed that Yeah, one. and Larry would be all over it, too. That's right. If I had an ankle bracelet, Larry would be all over that shit. No, I don't. I see Larry no more on. Larry ain't uh, around. 
Don't see Larry around no more. Something happened to him. Well, of course he's he's getting the fuck out of Dodge, he, and, and rightly so. He, uh, he stole he stole two million dollars of my daddy's money, and yeah. he, and he knows it, and and he's already told everybody. <laughs> so I mean, word is out that he supposedly took off and took the furnace, and the neighbors taking their furnace or something, or something about a furnace. Taking the damn furnace and the refrigerator and stuff because he bought it, he said. He never bought that shit. He's got to move. He's taking shit, he said. I, I he don't never, know. I well, if he it takes it, he'll go to jail for it because that's because then that's that's uh, that's that's grand theft at that point. Well, I um, yeah. <laughs> Let's put it this way, dude. I don't think you have much to worry about as far as him because he uh, he's not holding the upper hand here. But you, I think he already left, dude. I do because he's I don't been know. Gone. I haven't seen him in a week, matter. I bet you. I haven't seen him on the internet in a week, so that tells me something. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. It's going to tell me something. Talk to him Thursday. They're moving into a house. Yeah, that's what I heard, too, man. I don't know. I read it. Let's put it that way in the comments. Whatever. He said he was moving. Whatever. Yeah. Maybe he's tapped out, dude. Maybe he's sick of it. Maybe he's tired of fighting. Whatever. He's still going to go to jail. Well, you'll get new tenants in. So you he's, go still, he's still, he's still going to go to jail. He stole $2 million of my dad's money, told people in Ohio that he was me so that he could get my daddy's $2 million. Okay? That's yes. fucking criminal. What, you know, where's all the fucking trolls when Larry's sitting there blatantly admitting to breaking the law? Where's well, he basically the laundered the money by putting his damn kids in college. Yeah, exactly. He so laundered all the, it. Where, so where's brilliant. all the trolls? Notice that the trolls aren't going after Larry for breaking the law. I want nope. to, I want you to remember Blue that. Has, Blue has Blue has a little bit, but they made up. I seen there's going to be there's going to be there's going to be a quiz later, I'm boys and sure. girls, because not a goddamn one of you went after Larry for breaking the law. Not one of you. Not one of you went after Larry for giving that shall not be named to my mother. Not one of you went after him for that. So, so there's going to be a quiz guess. later, boys and girls. Trust Hold me, on a minute, guys. Schneider, you're wrong about that. There's six million. Two million went to Larry. Two million went to Vaughn and Gas, and then there's two more million up in Ohio that's been claimed more, yet. Two million in Ohio that's still trying to claim that. Claim that. Yeah, that's right, right. Vaughn? Yes. There's three sets of two million dollars. I have one. Larry supposedly grabbed one, and then there's one yet to be claimed. It sounds to me like it was a 401k, and he had it divided into three different areas. And that 401k hit, bam, two million one time, bam, two million another time, bam. That can happen. So yes, it sounds to me it like he hit happen. for six on three different. He got lucky three times. What it sounds like to me. Probably had a couple thousand invested. Look, look at this dumbass! Really look at this dumbass! Look at this dumbass! Prove you don't have an ankle bracelet. Are Who you fucking that? high? I've shown my feet a thousand times. Who the hell says that? I don't even see it. Some fucking out in the some fucking oh, troll. On the YouTube, not the YouTube in the outside chat, chat of course. Not the YouTube chat. Yeah, it's the YouTube chat. Oh, I don't see it. It must have me blocked. They must have you blocked. Can I got rid of them. No, oh, somebody got rid of them. I yeah, I had, a, I had, a, I had. There's a couple of people in the comments that had yeah. to get dropped off. If you know what I mean? Right, well, that right. Makes sense because I don't see. Uh, John must That's work weird. Sh uh, Shatter chefs. No, I work one big huge fucking chef. That's what I work. One big fucking huge chef. John, do not. Tell I me work the fucking chef. I have, a feeling, I have a feeling you work in a giant warehouse, don't you? No. Do. Oh, okay. It's all me, baby. Oh, you're roofing? I'm not uh, disclose. I can't disclose any information where I work, but I'm doing pretty good. There you go. Turn your feet. There you go. Look at this way, baby. Is that an ankle bracelet? Yes or no? Turn it towards the mic. We can't see your foot at all. Is there an ankle bracelet there? Well, there's a something on it. Oh, okay. There we go. No. Okay. That's my fucking sock. Is there an ankle bracelet there? No. No, there was ankle bracelets are, are that fucking that fucking thick and that fucking big around. What are you wearing that brace for? Did you twist your ankle? No ankle bracelet there either. Holy fuck! Look at that. Now, kiss yeah. my ass, motherfuckers, because I'm gonna. I, you you guys think you ain't gonna go to jail for what you what all this slander and libel and defamation you made of me? You think you're not gonna go to jail for that shit? You think there? You think the statute of limitations is going to protect you? No, it's not, because you're fucking. It's ongoing. It's not ended. Okay, statute of limitations is when shit ends. This shit has not ended. It's still ongoing. Your videos are still out there. Your fucking comments are still out there, influencing people. And as long as that is the case, 
It's never ending, which means you can't use statute of limitations, you dumb motherfuckers. Fucking right. The only way you can use statute of limitations is if you had stopped doing what you were doing and it had been stopped for quite some time. Then you go to a court and say, well, you know, statute of limitations says, you know, but this is ongoing. It hasn't stopped. Your videos are still out there. Your comments are still out there. You're still talking shit on the fucking Internet. And as long as you do that, there is no statute of limitations. Statute of limitations does not apply. Okay. You understand? I know you all were thick, but fuck, get this shit, okay? It's not that hard to figure out. There's your as buddy. Woody you Hippie. Keep you want, you want shit, to a link. Helton, there is no statute of limitations. John Woody Hippie wants a link, I think. What happened? Oh, yeah. Woody, Woody Hippie's in there. He yeah, said Woody something about something. Um, Vaughn, the uh, socks you're wearing there, you're a little bit concerned there. Are they, are they compression deals? Huh? Are they no. compression no, socks no, no. you're wearing? They look... Okay, Schneider Handyman brings up a good point, ironically. He says, so So does that mean I can press charges on you for slander, saying I murdered my own wife? No, because in that case, that was, that was a video that you posted on your own channel, and I was merely uh, talking about it. Okay, so no, that's not. Oh, I, I'm not going around here saying you, you, uh, you killed your wife because I believed it. I said you said that on a video that you yourself made. You understand the difference, Schneider Handyman? I know this is hard for you to fucking understand, but please try to understand it. When you say something out of your fucking mouth that you did, that's not me claiming it, okay? That's you saying it, and I'm just merely repeating it. Now, I know where you're going to go with this, Schneider Man. You're going to say, well, we're showing your videos where you talk about shit, too. Yeah, but the difference is, is that I didn't fucking call the goddamn government down there to start a bunch of shit with your family. Now, did I? No, I didn't. But you did. Holy fuck. See, that's the difference, Schneider Handyman. That's the difference. I didn't call the fucking government to come down and steal your kids or, 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 or to, to steal all your inheritance money or your finances. I didn't do that. That's the difference. When you take it off the Internet, then it becomes, then it becomes the government's responsibility, and the government doesn't play around. The government will fuck up people's lives. George Washington said it best. He said, government is a monster with an insatiable appetite. It will take and take and take until you have nothing left. Wow, that's exactly what the government did to me, isn't it? Yes, it is. That's exactly what they did. Isn't that right, Floppy? Yes, yes, it is. So, how did I ruin your finances? Oh, Von Helden, Von, we can't let Von Helden have his boys' uh, money to, to, to stay alive with. Oh, no, we got to get that took away from him. Didn't you, you fuck? I'll show you, I'll, I'll fucking post your own goddamn video where you were saying that I had to have Jerry's money taken away from me. Don't tell me. I know better. I'll, fu I'll fucking post your own goddamn video, motherfucker, where you son of a bitch has got on this internet and got Jerry's money taken, knowing that Jerry's money is the only fucking income I had to live on. It was the only income I had to live on. And you knew it. And that's why you had it took away, because you knew it was the only goddamn income I had, and you knew that I would die without it. You had to know that. Okay, we have a word for that, dumb fuck. It's called attempted murder. It's called attempted murder, you dumb son of a bitch and troll. And we're going to find out. We're going to find out, aren't we? Yeah, we are. You lost Jerry's benefits. No, I did not. I talked to Corbin. Corbin said... I, I just leave you. for like two minutes. I come back and Vaughn's like... Arr, arr, Jerry who has said, to go? Well, they, well, see, when you leave, they come in with sock accounts, John, and talk, start talking shit. Well, well, him well, and just just Vaughn, you got to just ignore the fuckers. The just ignore the them. Who needs the to go? Who but needs to go? But here's, here's the point. The point is you knew getting rid of Jerry's money would kill me, and that's why you did it. All right, you Schneider, okay? Schneider, Schneider so who's going by by oh, field marshal? Schneider got Schneider got jealous of Vaughn when Vaughn inherited that double wide. I think that's what's going on there. Well, that's so exactly Schneider's right. insulting him now. Yep, that's what's going on, right, Vaughn? One of the things I suspect. But anyway, uh, I did not lose Jerry's benefits because he he was being held by CPS. That's a lie. Anybody that believes that is a dumb ass motherfucker. 
Okay. Now, yes, if you contact the government and have them take away the fucking money, sure they will. Of course they will. No, Schneider Handyman, I never once said you killed your wife. I said you said on, a, on one of your own videos that you did. In fact, I made it clear that you were drunk at the time and that I didn't even totally believe it. But see, like I said, you hear what you want to hear. You don't hear what I actually said. I never once said you killed your wife. I said you said in a video when you were drunk that you were sobbing in your beer and you said you had killed your wife. That's what I said. I didn't say I said anything. I said you All said right. Anything. I Don't forget, you unhooked the oxygen, too. What's that? You unhooked the fucking oxygen in the, in yeah, the room. Yeah, who the fuck unhooked the oxygen on my wife in the, in the hospital? Who did that, motherfuckers? You see, these motherfuckers watch these goddamn hate videos, and then they actually go out and do shit. They actually go out and do shit. There's some things that happen that I can't even discuss because the police are involved. But there, when you when the, when you put these hate videos out calling me a pedophile and a murderer and that I raped my wife and that I was raping my children, what do you think some of these crazy lunatics around here are going to do? They're going to get in their fucking truck and they're going to try to take care of business. I mean, you the worst literally thing put done. my life in real danger, dumb fucks. The worst thing you're not gonna done for that shit. You're going to answer every one of these fucking trolls is going to answer for putting my life in danger. Let's oh, let's yeah, get down are. to in tax addition, here, Bob. In addition to destroying my family, in addition to getting all my inheritance money taken, in addition to getting my stimulus and SSI taken away, you're going to fucking pay, motherfuckers, because them yeah. video, them hate videos out there, people watch them videos. And somebody watched one of them hate videos and went to the goddamn oh. hospital and literally unhooked the oxygen from my ex-wife. Oh, yeah. yeah, they fucking did. That's documented, bitch. That is documented. I had not heard that before, Vaughn. I'm sorry. Oh, hell yeah. She was, yeah, she was cross-eyed when they woke her up. They, they were Fuck slapping yeah, the shit did. out of her. She almost her. died. They slapped her around and shit died. to try and wake her up. She was cross-eyed. She didn't know what was going on. Then finally, the doctor's like, holy shit. There's no oxygen. They shoved oxygen up her nose and her color came back. She was blue. It was bad. Yeah, buddy. It was bad. She almost Matter died. of fact, I think that's where blue got his damn name from because Andrew is blue. I, I think that's oh, where no, that ain't. No, no. Stop being stupid. Okay. Don't be stupid. All right. That's not. What um, listen, Bob. Anyway, it's the really is, okay, you're look at this son of a bitch. Now he's saying Jerry's money was the only reason you wanted Jerry. Hey, dumb fuck. Come say that to my face. I'll knock you on your ass. Come say that shit to my face, bitch. I don't give a fuck how big you are. I'll knock you on your goddamn ass. You say that to my face. Saying that I only wanted Jerry's money, that I didn't love my son. Fuck you, you son of a bitch. I, I'll remind you, fucking Schneider Handyman, a.k.a. Charlie Miller, who's currently residing in New York. I'll remind you, Charlie fucking Miller, that I got your video where you, where you laughed. When my ex-wife got raped on a Greyhound bus. And I've also got a copy of your daughter when she made a video laughing about my wife getting raped on a Greyhound bus. And I will give them fucking videos to a goddamn judge and I'll throw your motherfucking ass in prison. Try me, bitch. Try me. Try me, Charlie Miller in fucking New York. Better yet, get your ass down here and say it to my face, motherfucker. I'll knock you on your goddamn ass. Not even a fucking protest, uh, Schneider. What's up with that? Could have had a protest. 100 men, 200 men, whatever. Well, you know what, Schneider? I was in charge of the KKK. I'd had everybody down there. Okay, well, you know what, Schneider? Okay, well, then, if you're saying you're in Virginia, then that means you fucking lied, doesn't it? Because you've been saying all this time. All right, I got, I got a rid of Schneider. I got a rid of Schneider. Well, listen, he's, he's been saying, though, all this time he was in New York with the posse eating boys. That's what he fucking said. Am I am I wrong, Solar? Did he not say that shit? Yeah, he did say all that. So, yeah, yeah, I thought he was here Wait, too. I just let's back up here a second. I just hear Solar. Did you just say you were in the clan? What the? No, Schneider was apparently in the clan, and Vaughn's wife was raped, and the trolls said, "Hey, we're gonna have a rape on a Greyhound bus." Just like that. Next thing you know, she's getting she's getting raped on a Greyhound bus by a black man. These well, guys. That, the clan. That, doesn't, that doesn't make sense. That doesn't add up. No, you got to ask Vaughn. He knows the story. The clan, the clan does, not, does not encourage that. This is like I mean, six years ago. I got I mean, it mixed no, up. Vaughn, explain it. No, I don't, I don't I mean, have any the clan, the clan hold, hold on. Hold the fuck on. Okay, hold on. Woody, here's the deal, okay? All right. They emailed me in advance. They said, we're going to set up Andrea to where she gets raped on a Greyhound bus by a black man. 
to set me up as a racist. They're going to try and paint me as a racist because they're, you know, obviously I'm going to get I upset. I think you're giving the Klan too much credit. They're a bunch Hold of on, I'm not get done. Get God damn, cross. let me get my point out here. Hold on. Okay, the point is, is that Charlie Miller was a member, high-ranking member of the Klan. He could have sent boys down there to stop that shit before it happened because they sent me that email a month in advance. Okay, so they knew that they knew what they were doing. They were literally setting it up to make it look like, you know, I was, I was racist, you know? And so, uh, Charlie Miller could have sent a whole bunch of people down there to stop that shit down in Tennessee. And he didn't, he didn't do a damn thing. He sat on his ass and let it happen. Okay. And then, and then, and then on top of it, he makes a video laughing about it. He got his daughter to make a video laughing about it. Sherry two, two, six made a video laughing about it. She got her daughter to laugh about it as well. Okay. These motherfuckers are going to go to prison. OK, there's no way in hell they're going to get get out of not going to prison. OK, I've got them for slander, defamation, liable, criminal, criminal defamation. I've got them for harassment. I've got them for criminal mental cruelty. I mean, fuck, man, the lawyers are going to have fun with these assholes because they bragged about what they've done all over the goddamn Internet. OK, and, and the Internet never forgets. Right, trolls. Yeah, the internet never fucking forgets. Okay, so all my lawyer has to do is use a Google Wayback machine and and surprise, surprise, all their all their comments, all their videos, everything they've said about that evil Von Helden guy is just suddenly going to magically appear thanks to the Google Wayback machine. And then they take that information, they give it to a judge, the judge pounds the gavel down, and their fucking ass pays me millions and goes to prison on top of that because they committed a criminal act. And that's exactly how it's going to fucking go down with these motherfuckers. They're not going to get away, okay? They think they are, but they're not going to get away. They're not, you don't destroy, so you don't plot to destroy someone's fucking life and then think you're going to get away with it. By the way, the FBI is involved, and for you guys over across the pond, the CIA is involved as well, and that's all I can say about that, but they are involved. I, I heard you. that too. I heard that. Oh, they are. There's no question they are. Scotland Yard actually has called a few people. That's why Mark Ronan hasn't been around lately from what I heard. Well, it could be. I haven't seen I him in a week right now. I can tell you right now yep. that they are involved. Is yes, in buddy. Shit from what I'm told. Well, the well in district court, in district court, the judge has a federal prosecutor on retainer, even as we. Wow, Charlie Miller. Hold on a minute. Charlie Miller just told me to go fuck myself in a text message. Hey. Hey, Charlie, you're the one that said you were jealous about the goddamn double wide. I let it out there. Sorry, buddy. I let it out there. You were drunk. You told me you were pissed about it. You wanted the double wide. Guess what? You ain't getting it. I let the cat out of the bag. Sorry about that. Sorry, Charlie. Oh yeah, they had. Oh yeah, they had designs. Oh, yeah, yeah, when the, see when I yeah for, for those. More. Yeah, well, for those. Okay, well, hold on. So what is, what the hell? Well, this is control I need to Oh go. yeah. Oh, Woody, you didn't hear the. You didn't oh, hear oh the baby Jane, I did what? Okay. They were gonna sell. They were gonna sell all of my shit. They were. They were no, talking to the press. Hold me. on, Solar. Hold oh, on. Can we do Solar. one thing at a time here, kids. Hold on, Not Solar. Hold on, minute, Solar. We know, okay? yeah. Hold on a minute, Solar. Okay. The trolls were telling the frost in numerous videos on Discord and 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 in other media, which I happen to have copies of, ironically, uh, that they were going to get the frost to to purchase all of my shit or steal it or whatever, you know, get it by fiat, whatever. And then they were going to sell it all. They were going to sell all my shit. They were going to sell the double wide, the single wide. They were going to sell uh, my cape, my, my staff, you know, all my, all my stuff, my computers. Um, you know, Paul Wayman, Paul Wayman of, of Quincy, Illinois, who's a child predator said he wanted my computers. He said that in, in one of these videos, in one of these commentaries that he wanted my computers. OK, you know, but here he is, a ch fucking child stalker and he's not in prison. Why is that Chicago? Why? Or, uh, uh, excuse me, uh, um, fucking Illinois. Why is he not in jail? Quincy, Illinois. Why? Why is Paul Wayman, a known child predator, not in jail? Why is that? Child, well, if child you, trafficker, let's put it. I will, I, will, I will say that since Chicago is an absolute disaster, it's a hell of a yeah. Louis looks like a war zone. Yeah, uh, I'm going to say they're probably a little bit busy That's taking liberalism. care of the death and mayhem being caused in those two areas yeah well that's probably true even even so even so though uh so you I, know, he should this should, he should have been fucking put in a goddamn he should have been put in a fucking uh jail cell a long time ago though you know we've got him on video we got him on video talking about purchasing other people's children not just mine purchasing other hey, people's mom, children as well can i interject my can i interject my little story here yeah go ahead 
So I had a, uh, I used to be in, I used to, I, anyway, it doesn't make a difference. I, I was in the corporate world for a while uh, before I transitioned to what I do now. And, and I was, uh, I was in Kansas city for a long time. And what I would do is I would normally run an appointment. Oh boy, here we go. Hang on. There's Charlie Miller. He will not stop calling. Hold on a minute. Hold on. <laughs> Charlie, what's going on here, man? Is everything yo, yo, what, what the fuck, brother? What? I mean, look, look, conversations you and I fucking have. I mean, this is why nobody likes you, Solar. God damn. You go, yo, yo, shut the fuck up. You go into Bond Stream and you talk major shit about us. And then you go in with streams with us. Who the fuck, who the fuck side are you on? Now you're telling them personal shit between you and I? You can fuck off, man. Hey, man, hey, you're the one that said you were jealous of Ange trailer. See, that's what happens, Vaughn. Oh well. Well, like yep. I said, it's no secret. Yo, it I've got. I have. I. Ha I am in possession of all their Discord uh, conversations, where they said they were going to part uh, part out all of my shit. They were going to buy it off of the frost and part it all out. And uh, so, yeah, I've got that video. I have that video. I, in fact, there's several videos like that. Boy, he's steaming. One text after another video. about that trailer. Well, I'm sorry, but the truth hurts. He wants that trailer, and, Bonnie wanted it. Well, the truth hurts, and uh, the fact I is, is that back, so I'm going to apologize. He is very pissed. Oh, well. Okay. So I was in sales, and what I would do is I would go on my appointment, and I'd run. we ran appointments in the evening, and I would run my appointment in the evening, and then I would, when I got done, I would – just go to a bar, have a few drinks, whatever, then come back. You know what I normally do? Kansas City is not that big. So right. what, I would, what I would do is I would just hit a few places. If I was on that side, like like if I was in Kansas, I would just go over there. I hit a few bars over there, see if there's anybody over there I know before coming back across. And I just had you – know, what I would do is I would just basically I – was, I, was I would just head east. And when I would get east, I would just look for some shit that I knew and then just find my way home, you know, and maybe hit a couple of bars on the way too. I mean, I was – Raging alcoholic. Not saying that's intelligent or smart or I encourage that. Woody, did you do a lot of acid? Just real quick. Did you? No, I haven't done if a lot. If you of keep acid. heading east, you'll never come home because the earth's flat. You understand that, right? <laughs> okay, let me finish what I was saying. So I'd head east until I saw like 435 or something, and I would find my way back to where I lived. Well, then I moved to St. Louis. I once again, I first thing I, I was downtown St. Louis. I got up. Had a few drinks, had a few drinks, had a few drinks, and I get in the car and I autopilot. I start heading east across on I-70 across the bridge. So now I'm in East St. Louis, mm -hmm. and I make and I'm like, okay, fuck. I just got my I'll just shoot off the overpass, you know, turn down, hit the next one, come back up on the other side, right? I get stuck down there, right? And it is it is terrifying. And so I get pulled over. I get pulled over and the guy pulls me up, pulls up next to me. I said, thank God. He goes, what do you mean? I said, I'm so lost. He goes, well, that's why I pulled you over. I figured, why were you, why was there a guy down here in a, I was driving an Eddie Bauer Explorer and, and he was in a suit. He's like, yeah, you just kind of stood out like you were going to try to buy drugs. So I thought I better check you out. And I said, how about this? We get out of here and you write me a ticket, for whatever you want. He said, just follow me. And I turn my signal on, take that next right. And so I got out of there, but it was terrifying. That's my story. It's tragic, but it's really tragic because there's a lot of good people stuck over there because of circumstances. Yeah. That they can't escape. And it's speaking it's of being stuck, stuck in your in. circumstances. Speaking of being stuck in your circumstances, I got people on the outside. Why didn't you do anything? I'm over there starving to death. No money, no electric, no water, no nothing. Over there starving to death. And they go and sit and then they threaten me in court to take my goddamn property away. Where the fuck were you at? Why didn't you help me? There's the goddamn cash app right there. Where the fuck were you at? Why didn't you help me? Why didn't you give me some money? Why didn't you call an attorney in my behalf? You know, G-Man supposedly has tons of money. Why didn't he call me an attorney? This shit could have been stopped 15 years ago. Monograph supposedly has a shit ton of money. Why didn't he get me an attorney? You know, it's real easy to sit there and throw everything on me. It's real easy to do that shit. The problem is, is that there was people that had money that could have helped me and did not. That's the facts. 
Okay, so you sit there and say, well, why didn't you do any? Because I didn't have no fucking money. When they take away your boy's money, your mom's money, your wife's money, your money, and, you, and you're left with no money, nobody's going to do shit without money. Okay, that's not how this world works. This world works by having money. When you ain't got no fucking money, you can't, don't have money to put gas in your truck so that you can go buy groceries. You don't have money to buy shampoo. You don't have money to buy soap. You don't have money to buy toilet paper or paper towels. You don't have money to fucking go get cleaning supplies to clean your house. Maybe you should actually grow a fucking brain before you open up your goddamn pie hole. Because without money, you can't do any of that shit. CPS kept coming out to the house. Why ain't you cleaning your house, Vaughn? Oh, because I ain't got no fucking money. You can't do nothing in this world without money. And, and anybody that thinks otherwise is a fucking moron. Period. Period. End of story. But where the fuck were you guys at when I'm over there starving to death in that single one? Why didn't you send me some money on Cash App to at least let me buy some food? I could have. Donna, they're going to send you millions soon. <laughs> well, time. everybody's sending me millions now. soon. Especially at G Man. Him and David Anthony started all this. Well, that's. I don't care. I don't care. The, the point is, is that this shit is going to come to a, it's going to come to a head. Don't worry. It's coming to a head. And then they'll get their opportunity to tell these judges down here about how that evil Von Hilton guy was just so evil to them and so mistreated their fucking lives. Oh, cause I, I well, I must have, I must have done something evil to them. What? Like 15 goddamn years harassing me and my family. I must have done something pretty fucking heinous, right? Well, once They'll you start naming names judge, like Mr. Get Renato. Get a chance to tell the judge, oh, yeah, that, oh, yeah, well, yeah, that evil Von Hound, he's just so evil. Okay, well, what's your proof? Oh, a bunch of hate videos on YouTube. Oh, okay. What about hard proof? Has he ever been in jail? No. No. Has he ever been in jail in any other state? No. No, he hasn't. Well, but what evil has Von Hound done to you? Oh, nothing, Your Honor. Because that's, going, that's their only answer. I haven't done shit to nobody. I don't know these people. I ain't done shit to them. But they sure have done shit to me. And I'm telling you, when you stand in front of that judge, you better have a goddamn good excuse because that judge ain't going to play around with you. Fuck, They'll find I just you contempt to court and throw your ass in jail. From that Todd judge Mallory will find you a contempt of court and throw your ass in jail, motherfucker. That's exactly what they'll do. You fuck around with that judge, he'll fuck around with you. He'll throw your ass in jail. So I hope you got a goddamn good excuse for why you've been fucking with my family for 15 years. Got my kids taken away forever. I'll never get them back. They're gone forever. And you guys think that yeah. shit's funny. And by the way, we're going to make sure the judge uh, hears about that too, that you did it for the lulz, L-U-L-Z. Well, just some of the names are, are harassing. Mrs. Anonymous Dick. Uh, well, she married Agent 19 is, last May. The, the point is... Last May they've been married that long. The point is is that they didn't do this because of some noble yeah. reason. They didn't do it because Ow. of high moral ground. They didn't do it because they were trying to, you know, expose evil in the world. They did it for laughs. They did it for kicks. They destroyed a man's entire family and his finances for laughs. And when the judge understands that, and he or she will, that's the end of the trolls right there. They're gone. Okay, to destroy a man's entire life because you think it's funny. The judge is not going to think it's funny, troll. The judge isn't going to think it's all funny. right. Who, I, I, I was trying to get people out as I was driving and anyone else needs to go go take a nice long walk or we got no. we got everyone on the control here. You can blame the trolls for so long. Well, they're the only ones to do. They're the only ones to. Blame really at the end so, of the day. So, okay, so Grandpa Charlie says, So is CPS going to take my adult children from me? Yeah, yeah, they can. You ever heard of being disowned, motherfucker? Oh, you ain't heard of that shit, I guess. I guess that doesn't exist in your world. Look up the word disowned, you dumb son of a bitch. Wait, why are you fucking trolls so stupid when you've got internet that you can actually get on there and Google that shit? Why? Anyway, can we get some sense? Can we get some uh, a d good discussion going? Well, one I don't thing wanna... I just want to say real quick is, Vaughn, yeah. just imagine when these people are pulled up and they say, hey, isn't your really name uh, Katie or Carrie? And they say, hold on a minute now. But AKA known as what? And the prosecutor is going to go, Miss Anonymous Dick? Miss Anonymous Dick? 
your names are going to blow you or are going to just totally destroy well, all the you. Name, well, the, like I said, think the, about it. When the just the urban barn shifting stuff like that, that's, that's not that's that's not relevant. What's what's relevant is that they it did went this off for laughs. They destroyed a man's entire family and his finances for laughs and that's for true. views on fucking YouTube. And the judge is going to absolutely eat their fucking lunch. Yes, he is. Yeah. Because the judge isn't going to think it's uh -huh. a damn bit funny. I assure you. I oh, no, they're straight laced, man. They're I, not going to think this I have is a funny question. at all. I have a question for you. I do have a question. I'm running. Yeah, go ahead, Willie. How, how does, I mean, when you go to court, unless mm -hmm. you have I, IP numbers, then you're not going to be able to prove who's who, are you? These I mean, people uh, are on video talking. Oh, you, they, yeah, they're on video. Oh. All you got to do, besides, all you got to do is contact YouTube and subpoena for their names. That's all you got to do. Just say, hey, He's YouTube, we want, the, we want the names and addresses of these people. And YouTube has to cop them up because it'll be a prosecuting attorney <laughs> that contacts 20 you. years worth about. A prosecuting, right, a, prosecuting attorney, a prosecuting attorney will contact YouTube and they will get their docs. And the court will have all their information, I assure you. There was a big corporation, a big social media company that got in trouble for deleting... Uh, Years yeah. worth of chat logs or something I was reading yeah. about. Holy yeah. shit. Yeah. So if YouTube doesn't have all that information, they're in big fucking trouble too. Yeah, Hulk Hogan beat Can that I one just ask why it's up to everyone else to make sure you have money and eat? Well, Are it's nice fucking... to give a donate. If you like the shows, then you should donate a little bit. Give five, ten dollars <laughs> for the show at least. Well, the, yeah, but see, the, Billy here apparently is, is too fucking stupid to understand that when people oh, steal God. from me, I need to get that money back. Uh, you, you, can't you understand that? If people steal from me, it needs to be given back to me. Omega, you know, Alpha you know, Omega, it's done. I mean, the, he literally went to court the other day, and the judge said everything is yours now. It's everything is it's done, baby. It's all done. We, we're past that. That's old news. Yeah, the estate well, is as the estate is all Vons now. It's it, it's been uh, this. Uh, what, what's the word? It's been dissolved. Yeah, yeah. In fact, the executorship exactly, and all that shit is dissolved. Yeah, it's all Vaughn now. It's done and over with. It's gone. Vaughn can take the last of that money and blow it on lottery tickets. They can't do nothing. He well, I'm not going to blow it's it on lottery stuff. tickets. That's no, I'm just saying it's your money now. Don't buy lottery tickets. Why? Yeah, don't get yeah. Well, and then all the money. Oh, there you go. Don't give too much personal information away. Is that, uh, you want me to put you on the big screen, Vaughn? No. Well, I hope it doesn't have, I don't know. $5, he'll win it. That's how they do. So he's trying to get down to that point where he blows most of the money on shit like food and stuff, but then has that last five bucks. He'll get it. He gets it the last minute. He wins. He'll yeah, tell you. Before before everything tell you. was turned over to me. See that? And here is uh, here is where here is where I filed for uh, all my shit that was stolen. Boom. Oh, Christ. Is that the list of all the stuff? Was that does that have the thousand dollar bills on it? Yes. Oh my everything, goodness. Everything, everything when that they rule on that. Everything that was stolen from me is on that list. When do they rule on that? It's gonna be a while. I don't know. I don't know. They have to I'm not probably have private investigators out I'm talking not, to them now. Well, they do. That's what I keep trying to tell you. The judge yeah. didn't get rid of that federal prosecutor, he's still hanging around. She well, he's going to gonna say, where'd you get this truck at? You only make 500 bucks a month. Where'd you get this truck? Well, exactly. He's giving vans away to guys down the road, I heard. Well, guy named that's, Jim. That's, well he, like I said, Larry, Larry and James Arnold have a lot to answer for. They have a lot to answer for. Larry and, stepped in and he's, and he's going to be hurting big time now. I, I can assure you that there are federal prosecutors that are still out there. The judge didn't get rid of the one she had in district court. He's still around. He ain't gone. He's still around. And I can assure you they are investigating, and I can guarantee yeah. that there will be heads rolling. I guarantee they will. The judge well, has already said, this. the judge has already said in open court, they have to give everything back or they have to pay restitution. The judge has already said that. What part of they have to give it back do you not understand, fucking trolls? The judge has already said publicly on the record, they must give back my shit. It don't belong to them. Now, so explain what happens. They take. Understand, now, if you still can't understand after the judge herself says they have to give it back, I can't help you. You're obviously a moron and you can't understand English. I can't help you. 
The judge said, not by no hablo espan, uh, no hablo inglés, senor. No yeah, hablo no inglés. So, Vaughn, did you list a vi uh, dollar amount all the stuff that was stolen? There? I list. I had to list. That that was my job. Wow. I had the judge. The judge, the female judge, literally said, Vaughn, you have to write down every you have to little write down tidbit. Everything. That's so correct. you told her it was fifty million or whatever. Fifty up there. Let's just put the this. Judge you told her ordered me, the judge ordered me to list everything. That was known and unknown that wow. I was in possession of and not in possession of. And I had to list everything. And I did. So, I gave the thousand dollar bills, the, the war bonds, so, all that so, shit. Yes. Here's, here's, here's my here's my question. Wow. That if he's you done. have. Oh, he's if done. You have, if you wow. have money in the bank, there is a record of it. So you can see transactions that can be forensically analyzed. So what about. Like you have, you said you had thousand dollar bills. Mm -hmm. They that's, did the money that can't be recognized. That's basically that's basically unrecognizable money. I mean, it's your word versus theirs. You don't have any. Not money. when they buy millions and millions of dollars of trucks. You don't have a record of it. Well, they, here's the thing: they bought that, millions. That trucks, money had to go school. somewhere. That they money had it, to they go somewhere. The school, I mean, people don't people don't walk around with thousand dollar bills, bro. Okay, right. they don't. Larry so bought a brand new Toyota Tundra, hundred thousand dollars, and he gets five hundred. He minutes the other day gets five hundred dollars a month. I, I understand what you're saying. I'm not calling anyone a liar, anyone. Period. Anywhere. Ron will be and just really saying they will prove that proof. they were there, and well, Mason jars the, in a the, closet. The, the proof. And the I proof saw will be the proof will be the investigator that that research. I mean, like I said, World War II war bonds. Where the fuck did they go? No, anybody showing up with a World War II war bond is going to be hot as a firecracker. That shit's going to, that shit's going to, people are going to ask questions. How the fuck did you get World War II war bonds, motherfucker? Where'd they come from? And he'll say, oh, I got them from Alice. Well, I'm sorry, but that doesn't cut it because that was mom's property, not his. He had no right to take it. And so, yes, there's going to be questions that need to be answered. I assure you. Question. Now, who's over there ping, pinging? Who's over there getting beat uh, by the, the phone? The trolls are going off on me, threatening me and stuff. I can't believe uh, uh, Charlie Miller called you live on the show and just oh, you you up and down. He's mad as hell. He is. He is. Oh, you, John, oh, John, man. You, John, 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 you ought to hear this this video from Discord where they were sitting there. Yeah, I, I, I'm going to take Vaughn's cape and I'm going to take his staff and I'm going to have his computers and I want his double wide and I, I want, you know, just partying out, partying out all my shit. I want, hell, I want to see this, Vaughn. Fire it up. Put uh, room them. Room them room. If I can find it. Yeah. I heard. That I don't. I don't want to watch them hate video over the trolls. I don't want to fucking hear no. I, I don't want to. They're trying to buy. I didn't hear it yet. I'd like to see us. Where is this at, Vaughn? I've got yeah. it on my hard. drive. I heard your capes being sold. That that Larry I've has got it on my hard drive. Or something. Larry stole my cape. Bucks. Is that why I'm finding it? Is being sold apparently if they take the trailer. Yes, if they. Oh, they were gonna. They were gonna sell all my shit. Yeah, they were gonna sell. Yeah, all I my haven't shit. heard. Where's this video? Is it on YouTube? I have no. Well, I don't know if it's on YouTube, but I've got a copy straight from Discord. I know people on Discord, folks, and I got a copy straight from Discord. You think you're you think you're silent? You think you're 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 safe on Discord? No, not for me, because I know people on Discord. And 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 the irony of it is, is that these people don't even fucking like me. But when they heard this shit. They lost their they lost their fucking minds. Holy shit! People are gonna are gonna uh, sell off Von all of Von's. Shit. Look look at what this guy. Look what Charlie Miller say. I would have buy the land and give it to Larry. <laughs> Larry's yeah, gonna be in a fucking jail cell. Larry's going he ain't gonna, gonna be able to live Man at me. Larry's gonna, gonna be Larry's gonna be fucking blown out by some big back fucking shots named Tyrone. Charlie got a hold of me and said, "Hey, I got three different mortgages I can get to buy Alice's property." He's like, "I'm buying it." I'm moving Larry the fuck in there. I can care less about anything else. He said, I just want to recycle the aluminum on the double wide so I can get like 20 grand back. He was that set on putting Larry in there. He said, no, when Larry kicks a can, he's throwing his wife the fuck out. And then he was going to move in in, in 10 years. Or something. Look at, look at, look at this one here. Baby Jane, stop talking about my husband, Von Helton, age of 19, no longer supports you. She got on my shit. Go ahead, Von. You want to respond to that? She told me to go fuck myself a little while ago. <laughs> well, I think so. we'll send Solar after you, Baby Jane. He'll give you a good fucking, too. How's that? You like Baby Jane Solar? I like all them troll girls. All right. Maybe you can make an honest woman out of her. Uh, 
as long as a woman comes over here and doesn't shit herself, I'm happy. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, get rid of Grandpa Charlie and Baby Jane. I think they've overstayed their welcome. Bye, guys. They stayed there. There, you said okay. Well, okay. See you. Have a nice day. Charlie admitted about the uh, about what's been going on with the. Uh, he at least he admitted about the fucking trailer. He was jealous as fuck about it. I didn't want to say nothing. I, I well, I've got the fucking video oh, well. where they're talking about selling off all my shit. I've got the. <laughs> Man, he wanted your trailer, dude. He, they're, the sitting double wide, to, they, they're sitting there talking to Ronnie Ray, saying they're yeah. gonna they're gonna sell off all my shit. I've got, they claim I've got there's the millions video. of dollars of memorabilia in your fucking trailer, dude. That's I've got the said. fucking video where they say they're gonna sell off all my shit. I got the fucking video. And believe me, I assure imagine you. Imagine if you imagine video. someone got a hold of Von, the number one, Von, the, the the staff. You're like, that's a one of a kind item, man. That can go for millions. Yes. That cape is where everybody wants that cape and that staff. No, they're not going to get them. So sucks to be them. The staff of whatever it is that's a half of whatever. The staff and the scrolls of oblivion. They might. They, you got you got those. Well, though, the right? scrolls. What are they worth? I mean. What's the what? Dude. What's I'll the never word? forget when you wrote them, Vaughn. You thought it was going to be easy to write on that, and you broke that little wing out from that animal or that bird wing and, and dipped it in that fucking ink, and you started writing. Boy, you looked at that. It was running all over the page. You couldn't even tell what the hell it said. <laughs> Remember that. Look. <laughs> There's another one. Oh, my God. Look at this. Buy some more dog food, loser, it says. Okay. I will buy some, I guess. Well, it's too late now. <laughs> yeah, you ain't buying shit now because I got the fucking title deed, bitch. What are you going to say? And everything is in my name. You ain't buying shit. Not a damn thing. Oh, big, 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 big that, fucking uh, loose. These people that, are just so fucking jelly. I can't not, believe not how far that. they will go. Yeah, not only that, but the uh, but the will says everything's mine any fucking way. And see, the bitch of it is, what's going to hurt the frost the most in court is that this will was written way back in 2018, which means everything that the frosts have done up to this point has been in violation of that will. Mm. <laughs> That's an interesting uh, statement, what you just made there, Vaughn. Huh? Oh, how the worm has turned. Yes. Oh, that's. Yeah. But yeah, the will, I'm not joking. The will was made in 2018, which means everything after 2018 that the frosts have done have been in violation of that will. Oh, yes. Absolutely. And that's one of the reasons I. Suspect. What's, uh, what's the, um, the penalty of violating a trust, a uh, will, uh, the state, uh, whatever prison. you want to. Prison. Prison? Oof. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's prison. That's actually Larry prison. likes prison, right? He said he did. He yeah. said he liked prison. That's what he told me. Told me to my face. Said I like prison. I don't they don't like let you lay on the couch in jail, though. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's what he told me. I can They'll let you be a big pillow for some big, some big black guy named Tyrone. You'd be a pillow. I don't know if anybody's fucking Larry. No offense, Larry, but. Well, yeah. Well. Let's I mean, see. If I look at Larry. I'm not looking at his ass. Trust me. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you when you're the new white boy on the block and and you're fresh meat. Oh, okay, yeah. hold on, hold on, Stephanie. What was fake, Stephanie? What what was fake? What was fake, Stephanie? But Stephanie was like, "Come on, that was totally fake." Well, what was fake? I don't understand. Did you get what's fake? Bond and G Man fighting the other night. Yeah, right. Okay. No, that wasn't fake. <laughs> that wasn't fake. Yeah. It was all staged. Vaughn and David Anthony stage that fight. Okay, whatever. Yeah, no, fucking no, staged. no, I don't think so. No, Keep accusing so. people of everything, whoever you are, Stephanida, whoever the hell she is. Oh, Where Solar is and Charlie skit was fake? Yes. Well, probably so. <laughs> no, 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 no. He still texts me. You want to read it? Uh, yeah, pull it up. Yeah, put it on the, screen. Put on the big screen. The balls with a tennis racket laced with fucking barbed wire, okay? Only a maintenance guy would say something like that. <laughs> Uh, get rid of so, Kelly four four zero one four whatever the fuck that is. Get rid of that shit. Stephaneva Solar and uh, Charlie Skit. That's yeah, uh, yeah that's let's uh, delete that. That's, that is that, that is a sick comment. I even yeah, said, hey, listen, the guy's comment. calling me now. Fuck. Well, Stephaneva, I I don't suspect you're far from the truth, but whatever. Whatever, man. That I would mean, be it is true. I mean, it is true that Sola, you come in here and you say everything's okay, and the next day I'm see, I see you with fucking Charlie saying yeah, John's a piece of Charlie, shit, Avant's a piece. Well, you guys do the same thing to me. You said I poisoned fucking midnight. 
I didn't know when the troll said you fucking poisoned me. No, 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 no. You, you said, said somehow midnight. I poisoned him, but how can I poison a goddamn dog if they I were saying they were saying you work for a dog food factory? Okay, hold on. the the troll said you work at a dog food factory, Solar. Yeah. Huh? The troll said you worked at a dog food factory and you poisoned the dog food. And you guys are that stupid to believe that. And that's why I, I didn't say I believed it. I said that's what they said. That's, that's what they, they said. We didn't believe it. We just, that's what they said. That's I a had the right to to nightmare to try to, to make that work. Huh? That's, that's a complete logistical nightmare. That does not track well, exactly. at all. Exactly. What do you think? I could put dogs into a bag and then I did that and then they store. And then yeah, from the store, that bag happens to be really the one you, that ends uh, up in Von Helton's yard. Is not <laughs> I know. Woody, imagine the odds of that, for real. Uh, you should buy a lottery ticket. It'd be about the same. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I couldn't believe it that I was accused of that. What else, John? Come on. You guys did a bunch of other dumb shit, Timmy. Come on. I've we seen never it. said. We, that, the troll said that, so I said, oh, okay. Yeah, and you believe that shit. Come on. I, I just, like, look at this. This is what I just, I go like this. I read the comments. Good morning, Vaughn. Someone goes. So imagine you open up an art kit you order from fucking Amazon and, and the front page, and when you open the box up, it says, fuck you, John. Dan at the bottom. I mean, come on, dude. Look at Vaughn laughing. <laughs> or I send you some used toilet paper. I wipe my ass with and re-rolled it and send it back. Come on. That would be funny if that you did happen, but no, of course, I didn't, I didn't believe you poisoned the dog food. How the fuck would you poison the dog food? This you Parker, said it. Are you so afraid the of troll drugs? said it. The troll said you, you know. work at a dog food the factory. Fact you, you actually the... believe that I worked at a dog food factory. I no say one said you believe. No one said we believed it. I believed the damn thing. Woody, 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 hold on, hold on. Woody, Woody, Woody. Did I say I believe that, that Dan worked at a dog food factory? I don't have any idea what you're talking about. There you go. There's I'm your not answer. Gonna lie. When I get hungry, I do like hearing a cat chow, but I don't like fucking dog food. I'm not going to lie about that. Okay, that seems pretty. Well. It, it reminds me of bad pussy I had 10 years ago. I like the John, See, this, this, this is an example. I read the comments. John is jealous. Solar's getting too close to Vaughn. Uh oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Well, Vaughn and me have been homies for a long time, but Vaughn just, he don't listen to me. I try to get his home straightened out. He, he, he starts fighting with people. And just, David Anthony caused a lot of trouble. That's all I have to say. That goddamn David Anthony, I'll tell you, he's something else. <laughs> All right, Miss Parker says she wants to come in, so I'm going to get out and out get of here. Get her in here. Uh, I like Miss Parker. Get her in here. I'll play she says she can't stand my gut, so I'm going to go ahead and leave. And, uh, so, get her in uh, here. I'm going to talk to her about her butt. She has a nice butt. All right, well, like he, has, he has a nice butt. He, he has, has a nice butt. butt. He's, he's not, not a guy, guy, for Christ's he sake. He has a nice butt. She's not a guy. All right, take Are it easy. Have fun with Miss Parker, guys. We've got her on. She, 